Girls are important because um, they are confident and um, they are in the world too. They are not only men in the world. So. That's Crystal. She's 11 years old and what she just said is how many of us girls in the Pacific feel that we are just as important as boys. But sometimes we are made to feel bad about ourselves and we are not treated fairly. We don't get the respect we deserve and our opinions don't seem to matter to others even when it affects us and our communities. We face many different challenges simply because we are girls. And some of us face even more challenges because we're discriminated against for other reasons like having a disability or getting pregnant as teenagers. We've been discussing a lot, everyone, girls are facing things. One player, we've been talking about them. education. Education, so now, yeah, all plenty young planners, all you know, educated because some, some plural. Parents born no not law. So half be more law school fee. Nah. Some law more get only make through only pass only continue for so. Parent background no all and good plan. Adolescent girls and young women make up 76 percent of young people around the world who are not in school, training, or employment. Girls have to go to school because they have to learn to. They have to become something in their life. Many girls in primary schools in Vanuatu face challenges with school fees, food security, and transportation to and from town. School is a challenge. I have long hours at school and power sometimes goes out and internet goes off and on. Main challenges that girls face in my communities are teenage pregnancy and early marriage. In almost half of the Pacific Island countries, 10 to 19 percent of girls are married between the ages of 15 and 19, which is twice as many as their male peers. Like you said, abuse okay. and I want pregnancy. I want the pregnancy. They can hang out, have fun, but in the end, we don't know what happened, and the girl becomes pregnant. Mm -hmm. So she was supposed to get married. Oh that stops the girl from achieving their dreams. Up to 63% of adolescent pregnancies in the Asia Pacific region are unintended. Some challenges that not feel um, safe, also not feel that anything happened, but also not feel safe for the community. Sometimes, but I don't know. Since it's so hard for to express him to feelings for those parents or anyone for seeking help. Abuse, abuse, drug abuse, and our family, in our family, some of our uncles, uncles and fathers, when they dream and go, they like a drug, and then they are, you know, in our father. If they, they don't care if you are their daughter or their niece, they just come and do whatever they want to do. The proportion of girls aged 15 to 19 who have experienced physical or sexual violence in their lifetime is as high as 62% in some Pacific Island countries. I have a lot of aims, but uh, one thing we like to look at and change now is something abuse. Abuse. You know, I'm like looking for change. Because I'm here, I'm here, story, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, experience am abuse or sexual, physical, or abuse. And I'm like try to change it for some of the girls again, and good life. Or Disability, I'm going to low vision. Okay, some challenge I'm going to say. I think the lo, lo community or the streets sometimes uh, one boy is a make one rap is fashion or I don't have respect lo one girl or sometimes I don't treat them right them lo rot to. The problem they face is safety because uh, whenever they go out they look at people they feel like oh, oh like this is so out of control 
we don't have power over here like they could harass me they could do something to me that's one challenge they face their safety Stereotypes regarding mental illness, the lesbian, gay, bisexual and trans society and the perceived role of women in the society is also a challenge for many girls. Excessive household work is also an issue for girls in the Pacific compared to boys. It's not fair. Boys don't do anything. For example, at home, we girls and our mom clean the house. We have a little baby and only girls and women change the diapers. Boys are allowed to go wherever they want. If you made us Pacific girls leaders of our countries for just one day, we would make so many positive changes to help each other. If I were to be the leader for my country for a day, I would document proper sex education in uh, all schools. As teenagers, we are not aware of what's happening to our body. Some of us um, are not informed at home due to certain cultural taboos. If I were leader for a day in my country, the one positive thing that I would change would be more open opportunities for girls to be involved in sports like rugby, since we don't have any national competitions for women, for girls, for young girls to join in rugby. Okay, one change one thing make me a voice, voice no more. Suppose me come Prime Minister of PNZ, um, target lonely or aim women, build them up school girl, girls and teenage adolescents, uh, build them all some factories number, they can keep them all young girl CBC and any money or survival. By me, putum postlet every street person by el poil nista kelo street. Did you know that of a total Pacific Island country population of around 10 million people, 56% are believed to be 24 years of age or less, and 37% are believed to be 14 years of age or less. This shows how important it is for our leaders to listen to us and look after us. Like lo all big man lo lo yumilo kano all mas harim voice lo young plaman Mary lo. Umi wan tembla talaga si lo wan lo by all kel pala mas finish yung good school lo kada. I meeting by all this all go pass line lo government. Well, all in upset him on rules or can look out him on young family. Well, he can say, feel free, no, round, no. So, how am I so inside the society? My message to the leaders would be for them to listen to the voice of women as well, and for them to respect women, and for them to uh, conduct programs in the societies which they can tell men to be equal with women and respect women as well. For all my guys, I can buy me for the people who are going to get a lot of people. I hope that I can get a lot of people. We only have one life and they won't enjoy that given that they are being, that they're scared they, they know that this is my limit, I have to do this, I have to do that, I can't do this. I mean, that, that's, just not, that's just not fair. And I would say this in the woman. We've shared our challenges with you and our vision of a better life for us. Now, we ask you, what will you do to make sure we are happy, safe, healthy, confident and ready to achieve our dreams?